What's up everyone? It's me, Adam Prime, and I'm back for another Toku Brew podcast this week in Toku. Um, with me as always is the lovely intellectual intellectual bleh, bleh, bleh. I'm messing up my words. Intellectual bleh. I'm just gonna give up on saying that word. No, do you I wasn't <laughs> done complimenting you. Uh, I think you are. I, I think you need to stop. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say the it's next one. It's gonna be. It was a long day. Yeah. Anyway. But hey, Dawn Brothers. This weekend, Dawn Brothers. Okay. I know we keep making that joke, but we promise. Hey, <laughs> but there was a common writer Black Sun trailer that was just two dudes saying Henshin. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> that was it. Common writer. Riveting. <laughs> like. So. Yeah, no Don Brothers news this week. Um, as of recording this, we do got a new episode. Yep. How about I say we got the debut of Don Dragoku. Oh Are you shocked who it is? I'm kidding. The trailer told you Again, who it is. Worst kept secret. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you see uh, Jiro, you're just like, that's him. No. Yes. No, he's just a cast member. We're lucky to have him on board. Definitely not going to be an important role. Definitely not the Sixth Ranger. Definitely not. I said the name wrong. But, you know what? There was an interview with the actor, actually, before we get started, where it's like, apparently he's like a really big Super Sentai fan. And, like, he's so honored to be in it, and he's so excited, and apparently he's, he's going really well with the cast and everything. Yeah, it's really wholesome to just see like, yeah. see how happy this guy was. Like, or reading how happy he oh is to gosh. be part of it. It's so cute. Uh, it, it makes me almost think, like, he and the character, like, that's probably just how he actually acts. Like, while like that's just how he feels. He's just like, I'd he's like, I don't have to excited. act that much. <laughs> yeah, and the fact, I always like to hear, you know, when actors are... You know, friends. You know, getting along, stuff like that. So yeah, it, it's always just extra. You know, extra wholesome. Yeah, him and Tara went to go have a nice bath together. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Right, that's, okay. that's just a, I, I, that's something I, more I acceptable like, in are you Japan. Talking about Happy Spa? Was there a crossover? Oh sh! Oh, there should be though. Where is it? Come on. You mentioned I'm about to say it was an interview, so it wasn't You're the character. Not scrubbing my back correctly. Oh my god. Oh, this was interesting. This was an interesting episode. Still, like more pieces. They still haven't revealed. They've seen Inuwe brother. But they don't know. It's... I, I mean, you would think Kaji, Kaji brother seen did. It, but... Um. Oh, what was it that uh, was like, oh, we kind of called it? I forget what it was. Um, oh my god, what did we call it? Oh, I, I can't remember. I just realized. But, um... Oh, that Kaji brother wasn't gonna die? No. <laughs> it was something different. But, uh... Anyway, but he, Kaji brother and Inuit brother have been kind of talking out of suit. Like, yeah, he's just like, buddies. I'm gonna find my A big fiance. long tease fest of like, oh, are they gonna notice they're the same person or are they not? Yeah, it's they like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like we were waiting for there's the couple, reveal. There's a couple good fake outs though. Yeah, like the first fake out was hilarious because he like, like pretty much, um, Subasa was just like, hey, I'm gonna go find... I found Natsumi, but she doesn't recognize me. I don't understand what's going on, but I still have to find her again. Like, oh, I'll help you. Do you have a picture of her? He's like, yeah. And then he holds it up, and he's like, oh. And we're like, oh, is this... It, it was like, I thought, I was like, oh my god, is he gonna snap? He like, held on it for a while, too. Like, he was in shock, and it was just like, oh, he had, like, filters and stickers over their faces. He's like, I can't. They had the dog I filters? Anything. Like, it was such that was moment. Gonna... But yeah, I was just I like, was... wow, they actually got us. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I was like, it looked like he was getting ready to snap. He's like, like, like the, and then literally the next scene we saw. And then like their wedding picture was covered up by flowers. Yeah, so he couldn't see their wedding picture or anything. But, um, he's just like, after he leaves, he, after he's like, oh yeah, I'll help you in any way I can. He immediately, like, picks up his wife's picture after he heard that, like, because his wife's still in the hospital, and he's like, how could anyone do that? Well, well, she was home, but, like, 
she was still like she still had like bandages and she was like getting headaches i think well yeah well okay. she's also a monster so it's kind of hard but um uh, the one part that and like you know, obviously as we discussed last time he is like the, he's the car uh, ranger monster yeah, he's the monster so he wants to destroy traffic safety apparently <laughs> oh i get it because he's like oh why is my wife going through all this pain and everything how do you fix that with safety and he's car ranger so it's car and safety and she got hit by a motorcycle oh i didn't think about that angle I think. But, uh, smart but uh i i, I remembered because <laughs> like we were talking about like oh it looks like you know they because my theory of like oh we saw them losing points oh yeah 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 uh i was like oh i wonder if it was just because like they weren't they didn't have enough points to the point where they had to go into negatives and like oh we see her in a wheelchair what if that's just like a consequence of it oh I, yes you I, called I, that. I basically hit the nail on the head there and how she got in the wheelchair was hilarious her legs just stopped they yeah just exactly stopped they were like they were just like oh he yeah we're having a regular meeting oh shit <laughs> oh, <laughs> my legs God. stopped working and let's not forget sour brother wasn't able to like he, and yeah. He's like all dead inside. He's like, oh my god, I I've lost, lost my soul. You you feel bad for yeah, it? Yeah, he like he legit asks for death at one point. It's yeah. Like, oh my god. Which I guess should, okay. Let's go back to the other. Let's go with the Inue brother, Kaji brother plot real quick. Sure. Because we were almost done with it. Like again, we were thinking they were gonna reveal that their wives were the same. Like I thought this would be the episode. All right. Oh, this is it. This is it. And it's not. And it's like, whoa, wait, what? It's like, because this feels like it would would have been a natural conclusion. Like, he's a monster and everything. And, and like, it's so funny because at one point he does run into the monster. And he's like, oh, the, uh, like, Sorrow Brother and all of them show up. He's like, oh, I'm a, li I'm a little busy right now. So if you guys could take care of him, bye, like, leaves. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> well, exactly. So it's like, he didn't even get to see who, um, Inue brother, like, he got to see Inue, who Inue brother is, but he doesn't know that he was, um, Does he remember his brother? Kaji brother. Yeah. yeah. And that is the thing where it's like, because quickly he ran away from Sorrow brother and all of them. And he was just like, they found him and they were just like, oh my God, it's Kaji now. And everyone's like, holy shit. And they're just like, oh, God. And then he turns into the monster. And they're just like, oh, let's hope that Taro will come back. By the way, she's in the wheelchair now. Yeah. <laughs> just, she's just in the wheelchair. Again, legs just don't work. Yeah, so it's just, it's the only sister suit and in a wheelchair. It, yeah, and basically at this point, can I also say, she just turns into a full-on Momotaro simp, basically. The Momotaro simp. Yeah. A.K.A. Jesus. Because it, it, she it, became a good, and it was almost peachy girl. 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 <laughs> but I, it, it almost threw me off because it was just so sudden of her just, like, having full confidence and everything in Taro. Like, she was just, like, again, she was just number one Taro simp for a second. And all of them are just like, oh, this guy isn't Taro. He can't replace him. Even though we see him, he finally gets his spear. Yeah, he finally turns into Don Goku, obviously. Which then, that's oh, a, yeah, gosh. and then all of a sudden, like... And we'll talk he, about that soon. Yeah, and they fight... Well, obviously, this is the fight. They're fighting a Kaji brother. Um, and, like, Kaji brother gets away. And he's like, oh, wow. Uh, yeah. And, and so we then go into... How Dondra Goku? Let's get that real quick, because now we're in that fight where he debuts. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like, I like the voice. Like I don't know. It's just something that's fun to me. I don't know why. Where it's like I could see why some people could find the voice for the spear and everything kind of annoying, but I'm just like, oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, the suit looks great. The suit looks gorgeous. So, and it, it did kind of go for a little bit of, like, a neon tubing. Like, the neon light tubing, and that, that was thing. awesome. And, which makes sense if you think about Taro, his is like, oh, it's nighttime Fire. and there's fireworks. So, it's, I feel like they go together. Yeah, and it's like, he obviously has the Domino like Matara buff. the darkness and all that. Yeah, it's just, I think it's so funny that he's like, it'll be my moment any minute now. Slot machine appears in the sky. Ding, 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 ding. Here's no, your, man. here's your, here's your $215 sunglasses and your spear. And a gear. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh. But yeah, no, I, yeah, he, he's uh, attacked. This character's really fun. 
And you know how it's like, oh, we were kind of wondering how he and, like, Taro would interact. He's the first one to get praised by him. Oh my gosh, yeah, like, he, I, I just said, like, Oni sister was number one Taro simp. Uh-uh-uh, he is the, he's the queen, like. Okay, so yeah, let's get into his backstory. So he met Taro once. Mm-hmm. Like, offhandedly. Like, he apparently saw Taro under a bridge take out, like, five dudes by not throwing a single punch. It was mainly because they were beating the hell out of him. Yeah, they just beat the... They just beat on him so long, they all wore out. Yeah, they all just got tired. (laughs) He was just like... But in five minutes, though, I want to say, he's like, oh, five... Or half an hour later. It wasn't that much amount of time. I they're teenagers. Shoot. But yeah... Is that inappropriate? I'm sorry. (laughs) Maybe. I don't know. But teen... But yeah, no, so like, and Taro had black hair. Yeah, I don't know what the, what they So I guess hair. this is his hair just natural. Is that him ripening as a peach? <laughs> He's not ripe yet. Oh my gosh. So, I didn't even think about that, but that's funny. But yeah, no. And he's like, wow, you must be Taro. You're the greatest. Yeah, exactly. He's like, oh, I know and Taro's the greatest, but I have to succeed him. I I'm the person. I'm, I'm his, not I'm his successor. Successor, yeah. Um, and I just, I do dig the suit a lot. Yeah. Um, I like it when it glows in the dark, whether it be in the transformation or the final attack. Mm-hmm. The final attack, like, let's just get all the monster fights out of the way. There really, really isn't, like, a ton to the monster yeah, fights. It, it was really just kind of there and gone. It just seems like they needed to have certain scenes. Like, they needed Don Goku to appear. That's cool. And then you had the Don Momotaro, um, Don Goku, like, fighting together. And like we said, he gets praised. He's like, oh, you get my praise! Well, here's the thing also. I feel like we did kind of skip a little bit of a chunk of information we should probably address before we move on. Which was, like, how they got Momotaros to wake up. No, wait, I, w- I was going to get to that. Because you're already past it. Is the well, thing. I guess, but... So, anyway, Gridman, he's basically, like, I... He's he's feels ter- feeling terrible about the whole, like... He Letting like Taro he, die. He, like, hit, quote-unquote, killed him, like... Dishonorably. And he actually gives them the information that they need. He's like, oh, he's just asleep in another dimension. So, and because uh, Dr- Don Dragoku is, like, kind of... He's Taro. He's the he, player. Yeah, like, he's, like, all, like, warm-hearted and everything at their dedication, because, again, Oni Sister's just simping away. Yeah. And he Can was we get about to, go to the execute back. Yeah, he was, like, he, he was just, like, he was about to execute them all. He was just, like, like he's, like, maybe I, I should... My own team. Yeah, he's, like, I don't know if I should keep you guys around as disappointment that you just let your leader die. Disposable, Under- like tissues. <laughs> like, not gonna lie, though, that's not a bad point. He I mean, doesn't, he has no that. technical attention, he has no attachment to him, yeah. so it's just him being like, I should just execute you all for killing the hero, you know, yeah. for letting the hero die, job. that's your job, <laughs> and, and all of a sudden he's like, and or, you guys just walk away, but like, and, Oni's sister's like, what the fuck, and like, Sarah Brothers like, I well, can't no, do how, not hi- even, like, she was, I mean, she was like, okay, do what you must, but just promise me you'll use your points to bring oh. back Taro. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, he doesn't have any points. Oh, Kaido said, yeah, you don't like, have any. And then he's like, oh my gosh, you guys really care about this. I'm so sorry. And he decides to help them. And how they do that is because when they defeat Kaji Brother, which Wait. is what you were getting up to. I guess. Like, in, he's about to, like, you know, like, what we've seen previously of, like, oh, Gr- when Gridman or the other people fucking blow them up, it's like, oh, they, like, disappear. And we thought they possibly died or they went into, like, the weird... I think it's a mix. Thing. It's like... And it's like, oh, so when we they saw him leaving, Don Dragoku went up and grabbed him and went with him, and they're in these, yeah. like, space cubes. Yeah, he was, like, disappearing like how Taro had been, and he's just, like, jump, and, like, he's just like, oh, and they go into the cube together, and he's just like, whoa, we're in the cube, and they then... see all the people that have been monsters that have been... I guess just unquote, left again, there? killed, technically, I guess they're just asleep, I... but in... I wonder if the but more by the, greed... By the other people, by... Well, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if by the more greed you have, the more likely you'll die. Because the other ones definitely, like, like when we were watching... they shatter. Yeah, they shatter. Like, so it's, it's... Again, a little bit of details are a little bit ambiguous, but I imagine that's, like, stuff that'll get... Well, yeah. And then pretty much Kaji time. Brother wakes up and saying, new phone, who dis? Who are you? He's like, I'm propelling us through space with my fire spear. Grow your wings, sir, and... 
So we can get steer Tara. Me, steer me to the left there. Yeah, steer me gently to the left. And then they just had ramming speed. Just, just ram straight into Tara and they're all back. In the back into their cube and Tara is back. And to go back a little bit before we get to the final Tara fight, fighting together. So our brother was legitimately just fucking kill me. No, I can't do the thing. Execution. Thi he was just like, all right, go ahead, do it. He's like, it's better Be for me. And he almost like grabbed his weird neck thing as like a noose. He's like, it's like, do it. I'm ready. <laughs> Come on, I didn't even notice that. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Like he was ready to go. I mean, again, the man lost his soul. That's, I mean, would you either lose your soul or lose your legs? Hmm, they both kind of suck. Like... Well, exactly. It's like hers was physical. His was in his heart. Yeah. That was one of the things. Well, that's the only like, thing oh. you can take away from him, honestly. Yeah, I, I guess it was like, oh, what is, the, what would affect them the most in that moment that won't kill them? I guess. Yeah. Because it's like, oh yeah, you're suffering consequences. You just haven't figured it out yet. Exactly. But um. But yeah. Okay. Wait. Before we go back, I want to go back a little bit. Oh before this, Jiro this is was all done. Over the place. Yeah, I know. Jesus. Well, this is the most important part. In that opening scene where Sour Brother... What? Oh, wait, no. This would be before. This was, like, one of the first fights we saw with the Car Ranger robot. Where, um, Sour Brother... Where Jiro shows back up when Sour Brother and all of them, sh like, see the Car Ranger robot attacking. And he just, instead of having a bucket of rocks... Oh, yeah. Had a boulder! He, boulder. he just hadoukened at somebody! Oh, that was... A, it's like... You know, that's impressive, man. He yeah. just threw Boulder. And he just hit Sorrow Brother. I completely forgot about that, and I don't know how. Yeah, I almost thought that that was his consequence, where it's like... Extreme bad luck. Like, just that. But no, it turned out it was his haikus, but could you imagine if that was? And, like, fucking Sorrow Brother's just like, oh, I guess I was just hit by a Boulder. And Har fucking Haruka's just like, what he got heck? hit by a Boulder and I lose my goddamn legs? <laughs> What is this? Yeah, and, was, and then he lost his soul. Like, there's this weird moment. Like, I don't know exactly how to describe it, but where she was... Like, Truly it, like, sincere. Because it's like, the second they introduced the wheelchair... By the way, Kaido's just like, I am well stocked. Th that is the reason I have it. Because someone's like, where the hell do I you have everything. That? I'm a spotting point. I can spot what I want. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. He just pulls out a bag. But, um... It's like, and then like we see this scene with her in the wheelchair for like the first time, and she's with going Sarah to the brother, same bridge with at the same bridge that John Dragoku was talking about, where he had seen Taro take on five dudes without throwing a punch, and she talks like five she, dudes at once. Oh my god, Adam! <laughs> anyway, you're the, you're the only I one. I guess we're even now. Yeah. Uh, and then, but she like talked about it in a way of like it sounded like, oh, I've been this way for so long. He like. Let's not make the joke that I think I was, that I almost just mentioned. I feel like what we did was, that joke was terrible. Oh, yeah. But, um, anyway, it, it just, I don't know, wasn't it weird, though, the way that she was speaking about, like, oh, I know that he'll want me to walk again. It's like, I understand she just lost her legs, but I'm like, it, the way that she was, like, speaking, it sounded like it was, like, really profound, but it's like, honey, we've seen you in this for, like, two seconds. We're not even... Yeah, Taro's been dead for three days. And now he will rise again over <laughs> your legs. Taro is Jesus. At this okay, point. let's let's get this out of the way. But, let's uh, anyway, yeah. So when they get back after they've been in the freaking cube space, world. but yeah, Boulder. Wait, no, yeah, but the Boulder was the, the Holly because he had like a little dolly thing. Well, yeah. forget about the Boulder. We're past that. <laughs> sorry, I wanted to talk about this Boulder. Oh, we talked about the boulder. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to the talk boulder. About the, the texture and the color. The, what else do you want to say? It's a boulder. Yeah, I got chucked at a big blue monkey, man. But like. Yeah, and he just died. <laughs> yeah. I goose. Yeah, and he, it's like he didn't move, though. So it was almost like a mannequin. Just like the. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no. So they get out of the cube dimension. Yeah. And, they, you know, and the blue guy's just like, yes, I'm like. I'm a, like, he's like feeling I, joy and stuff. He's just like, I'm going to fight. He's like, I'm going to beat you next time. Honor. With honor. Is it like nobly or whatever he says? I think he said honor. Word? No, word? no, 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 <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, and Sorrow Brother is like actually really ecstatic. You can kind of see like tears of joy in his yeah, eyes. Yeah, because he could say in haiku. Because he could say haikus again. And it was a really sweet haiku. And then 
and then uh, Oni's sister just friggin' busts ass out of the. Well, no, Taro oh, does no, the no. whole thing. Yeah, he like he has like. She pretty much did verbatim really what she said. A really sweet conversation. A well, really sweet conversation. Well, yeah, and it almost looked like he was ready to cry. Yeah. Like it was really, it was really. Emotional. I just I like these characters interacting. I don't know what exactly it is because, like you said, it feels like a switch like happened a in Haruka. But then again, it's like I don't fully mind it, but I get because I feel like she was also just kind of being a tsundere at the beginning. It's just like I, okay, let's, let's move along. You know, it's yeah, like, I get it. Yeah, I'm not upset about it. I just thought it was a little funny. No, it is funny that she goes from like she she goes from like the first couple of episodes being like this guy. Oh. I don't think so. No, it's like, this guy. Well, it's they probably also him. because another guy showed up, and she's like... You're not Taro. She's like, fuck Taro. And all of a sudden, it's like, Taro's gone. Oh. oh. Where's the new guy? Oh, he really wants to replace Taro, and he's kind of... He's different in his own way. He can't be Taro. That's not cool. You're not Taro. Exactly. <laughs> it... But, um, yeah, and then, like, she gets her legs back. Yeah, yeah. She after... trips and then falls... Like basically, face honest first onto his crotch. <laughs> well, I guess his spleen. And like, here's the thing. Like, and then I, weirdly enough, this is probably just me always seeing these kinds of things. But like, I saw a weird chemistry between. Maybe it was just the actors. Maybe it was the characters. But like, I was just like, does Taro have a crush? Does Oni? I, I feel we're calling her Oni's sister. Like Haruka. Like, Haruka. Like I'm like, oh hello, is somebody crushing? But like, and weirdly enough, it almost kind of felt like. Maybe Gridman, you know? Like oh my god, yeah. Or he's I, like, I, he's like, when I saw Taro again, I had felt joy. And my heart, like, I'm just like, dude, I, I know I'm always the one to make the joke of, haha, I knew you were gay, or whatever. Like, I'm, a, I'm always the person that's seeing relationships everywhere, even when they're not there. But I was like, are they, like, setting something up to where there's gonna be, like, an unrequited love story? I don't know. I think it's just going to be like they're going to honorably want to fight not, each other. They're going like, to die. Oh, what do you know? It's uh, the last Sentai. You can't tell me I can't. Ha ha ha. Like, I don't know. No consequences. But yeah, no. I, I, I about to say this was a fun episode. I th Again, I think it was really impressive that in that fight, like, again, you finally had somebody reaching on to Taro's level. And like, like he says, he's like, oh, you get my praise. Let's keep this festival going. Yeah, and they do a final attack together. He's matching his energy. He's matching his vibe. By the way, I, just, I also want to say like, um, d before I forget. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, I remember. Okay. All right. Sorry, I had to remember what I was going to talk about. Um, I, I, I will quiet. be editing that out. Yeah. Uh, like, I, I wanted, like, when I was making, like, the joke of like, oh, you can't stop me, haha. -ha. That's because, like, even in, like, Zinc Hydra and, like, a couple of other toku shows it really feels like they're trying to slip in a little bit more like pc things because a lot of like you know like oh like gay relationships and it, you know it, it's not they can't be forefront about it in japan like it's not like they're just they're not pc in that way like it's a very forward country but like that's why i say it of just like because they've been i really feel like they've been trying to sneak little messages like that in somehow past whoever stops them so i'm just like i wonder if they're like trying to write them into we got corner. bra though so anything is possible yeah i know but like do you see what i mean like i didn't want to make it seem the only thing missing from bravo <laughs> the only thing missing from bravo is literally just changing greed on story instead of it being about really confidence or being over cocky it's just literally hey little gay boy get out of the fucking closet yeah he, you're not allowed in the closet anymore yeah it's pretty what bravo just does he just walks in and rips you out of the closet against your will <laughs> you didn't even know you were in a closet haha <laughs> and if you disagree have you seen the show <laughs> let's say i'm like that's just it's not even hidden but i don't know it's just like you know it just feels like they've been trying to slip stuff like again that. i maybe think that's I'm gonna be more seeing it i'm just well, like, even I if it look for that kind of stuff so maybe it could just be me you know i will fully admit it's probably just there's me. definitely something where it's like there will be like a friendship some sort of relationship i am not even necessarily in you know oh they're dating like, yeah it could be like a mutual respect mutual respect or friendship or something like that but yeah no um also I'm realizing He's like Chase, he's just like I learned to have a heart only to have it broken. <laughs> oh my god. I am a robot that has learned to love only to experience heartbreak. Um But yeah, no, it's it's really 
interesting of what they could do with that. Where it's like, is he gonna become, like, a is... villain turned ally? Like, because like we saw a lot of weird. Uh, you're talking about John Dragoku, right? No, um, even though in the preview. Yeah, in but, the preview, it's, yeah, we see some stuff where it seems like he snaps. And he has like an evil voice. Like I wonder if it's like, oh, the dragon Dr. side, Jekyll. the green half is like a Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde kind of thing. Or if, like, maybe someone just upsets him. I don't know. And or they're like, which, I guess to get, we'll get into the preview later. Okay. But, um, but yeah, no, it's really interesting what they're going to probably do with him. Because even, um, like, the other, like, Nautos or whatever they are, are, like, just being like, dude, you got to get your head in the game. It's fine. And... Overall, I think it's really interesting, like I said, in the, like, reveal, you had them both doing a final attack, and it's something I didn't really think about, is none of the other Dawn brothers really get the final hit. They're always just, like, getting it ready for Taro. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I never really thought about it until I saw him, like, doing the slash with him, and I'm like, huh. Yeah, they just, like, were immediate, like, best friends. It was kind of fun, but... I just, again, there could be other implications, so that will be interesting to see, especially with what we saw in the preview. But, um... That will obviously be something we'll talk about next episode. But... Uh... The, but also... Mm -hmm. Like... Oh my god, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, Taro's <laughs> Jesus. Well, yeah. Duh. Taro... Like, I'm not trying to do this to be, like... <laughs> I like Blast making of fun, of, making fun of religions or anything, but I'm just saying, it has a lot of like the very similarities. He performs miracles. He was dead for three days. Came back and came back, and then fixed someone's legs. Yeah, he cured the sick. <laughs> yeah, he cured the sick. All he needs to really do is walk on water, and we got the whole thing. Turn it into wine. Who's to say Dance he can't? Dance and celebrate. Here's some liquid courage. Like it's just tequila instead of like oh I guess it would be more like sake but yeah but um <laughs> tequila shots I don't know why that imagery I got my really peach funny. with tequila shots <laughs> oh yeah I have a nice peach liqueur yeah oh my god it's peach smirna oh my god um it's just it's just so funny that the similarities are so much there where I'm just like holy shit. Taro is Jesus. He came from I, above. He's a child pretty much sent by God. I had a very Moses-y story of him, like, floating along the river in a little peach basket. <laughs> he was raised by a father to teach him everything. Mm -hmm. Then to just, you know... I feel like he's just Jesus if he was born in modern day. I guess, I guess the whole, like, thing where they were beating the heck out of him could have been, like, oh, his turn the other cheek moment. <laughs> Pretty much. He has those all the time, though. Yeah, but, like, yeah. again, I, just if Jesus was real, we would treat him like Taro. Like, get the fuck over yourself. He's, like, definitely, like, a very a Mary Sue. But nobody likes him for it. Yeah, exactly. It's, like, realistic. But, yeah, no. So, Dundra Goku may turn evil next episode. Who knows? Just, again, like, I feel like this is, like, the beginning of being able to see those interconnected relationships between these characters now and I'm I'm here for it. I want to see more. Of uh, yeah, what's going to having a good time? What's going to snap this child to be like I now need to murder? I'm realizing we totally forgot to talk about Kaji brother basically and once the monster is released you're just like, oh, "I'm sorry." Oh yeah, you just cry like, "Oh, can I do it?" Thank you. Oh my god. And my dog? And my dad? Don't turn into Thouser. Don't turn into Thouser. Oh my god. But, alright. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know if there's really much to, else to talk about. I feel well, like we have been talking for 30 minutes. Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like we've already talked about everything. Not necessarily in order, but... Yeah. It's, it's it fun. I liked it. I had fun. Mm -hmm. The wheelchair... The suit in the wheelchair is... <laughs> but that really got you, and I just... Not... As a person who had to spend significant amounts of time in wheelchairs, it made me laugh <laughs> so hard. Up. It was great. Because it's not like 
it's funny be- to me because it's like we see the suit walking normally. Mm-hmm. So just to see it in that instance just made me be like, should I feel represented <laughs> or teased? <laughs> <laughs> like, damn. Uh, it was such a, yeah, you, just such seemed, a, you seemed like you were just having a very surreal moment. Oh, <laughs> uh, but that was funny. But yeah, I think that's it. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you, um... Did we make any sense at all? Like, Yeah, did this make any sense to you? Or are you just like, what are you doing? I, we had a long day. A very long day. <laughs> yeah, but it was fi- it was fixed pretty well with Don Brothers. Don Brothers was fun. I liked that. I mean, it's always a good show. If, again, I feel like this is kind of turning into, like, it's really starting to get into the meat of things. Like, they're starting to... It's going to thicken up. Now that everything, it's like, it's really going to start stewing and getting good. Well, yeah. Good. It's also funny, again, we don't have the full team, but now we have Don Dragoku. Yeah, th- we got the Sixth Ranger before they learned the identity of their other, like, companions. And it seemed- Oh, I remember when she was like, call us companions again. Like, again, again, like, that was, that was kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah. That was cute. But anyway, thank you that- for listening to us ramble uh, for way too long. Yep. <laughs> Bye. Bye.